on today's episode. Welcome. Here are show repairs I've done and share the techniques and tools that I use. If you find this video valuable or even entertaining, uh, please subscribe as it really helps. It's great to get your feedback, so leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that like button. Also check out the description below because there'll be additional information and some useful links. So in my previous video, uh, which I put a link to in the description, I showed the basic configuration of this NEXX WT3020H and went through the, the four modes as described here. And in this video, I'm going to concentrate more on the setting of the NAS function and uh, specifically with reference to Android devices. So here we can see a list, a directory listing of the uh, external pen drive which I've put into the router and we can see that it can be shared via Samba FTP or DLNA and I showed again in the previous video connecting from a Windows laptop um, but now we're interested more in getting access from an Android device to these files so without further ado I'll switch over to my uh, smartphone and show you how that's set up so the first thing we want to check on our smartphone is that we're actually connected to the next router. Uh, so we can see here that we've got the IP address uh, in the 192.168.8, which is the uh, the address of the of the router. So that's good. Next, we want to have installed. Uh, this ES file explorer so you can go to the Play Store and get hold of a copy of that and within the uh, within the program if we click up in the corner there and look at our network settings uh, for the local area network and we just press on scan So we can see that it's found our, our various devices and the we know that the server address is this one 192.168.8.1 so we click on that and it asks for the username and password uh, which is the default admin admin And now we can see the storage on the uh, on the router itself. We're going to public, and the external drive is SDA one. So now we can see that our our files are are, are loaded there. And uh, what should we choose? Excellent video. I suggest you get a copy of that. Uh, so we'll move on to uh, another configuration example in a moment. So just while we're playing around with Android devices, uh, this is not particular to the NEXX, the next router, but uh, it's uh, another useful trick um, is to use this Samba server. Uh, so you, again, you can download this from the Play Store for free and uh, all we need to do is to set up our, our server and obviously we're going to give it a name now I prefer to change this to uh, something I'm more familiar with so uh, we can somewhere in here so we can change that we can look at the TCP IP port session port, main port, uh, let's just go next 
The other thing that we need to do is to set up actually what we're going to share, which is called the roots. So we just add on there and we'll call it share. The directory we can browse for whatever content we wish to share. So where should we go? So we'll share the SD card. Select that. So that's what's going to be shared. And save the settings. So here we have our SMB server set up. Uh, at the moment it stops, so we'll just start that service. And now we'll go to our other device and uh, see that we can connect to it. So here we are on our other Android device and we're just going to use this ES File Explorer once again. And all that we need to do is to go and look at our network setting for the local area network and scan for our devices. Okay, so here it's discovered uh, I've got a laptop on the on the next uh, network. 8.1 is obviously the uh, the server that we've already taken a look at, and this 8.102 will be the server that we set up. So we can see the folder that we created called Share, and under that we can see the contents of the uh, of the drive itself. So, for example, we go into this folder here. So this is obviously pulling it off of that server. If you remember the 777 shared port. And here we can see uh, a rather filthy laptop fan. I have no idea why that was overheating. So you can see there another, another useful uh, tip there for sharing across Android devices. So just before we go, one, uh, one final thing. Uh, everybody should know uh, one of the easiest ways to, to transfer uh, stuff uh, is using uh, OTG so this uh, is just a little OTG adapter and uh, you can get this in a sort of cable form as well and this will simply plug into the, the base micro USB of your of your device your phone and you plug in your USB device after that and you can copy files directly I'll just um, show you that in a moment so once again with the OTG adapter and the USB stick plugged in we go to this uh, file explorer we can see the USB drive there as well and this is how I've been transferring the, the video files if we go into the internal storage we can see the files here uh, we can simply select one by long touching it and copy it and then go back to the home page, select our USB drive and the folder and paste it. So that sometimes is the easiest way to, uh, to just copy something quickly.